Welcome to the second episode of the G2 Post Plant presented by Logitech G. My name is Frankie Ward and hanging out with me for this episode are IGL Nexa and our resident French man because there has to be one in every episode of the G2 Plant Post Plant. It is Amanek. And, and first of all, I want to talk about the recent boot camp. Did it take place in Serbia, Nexa? Yeah, yeah, it was. It was in Serbia. Was it at your house? <laughs> no, but it was close, actually. It was close to my house. So what was it like having three Frenchmen join you and Hunter in Serbia? Ah, it was so cool. It was uh, like every every night partying, drinking. Uh, <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, but it was it was really um, really cool, and I think the guys liked it a lot. At least that that's what I said. Uh, I think uh, the thing they loved most was uh, was the food here. They were pleasantly surprised with with that and they actually said they would love to come back and I would be happy to greet them anytime. Um, I also need to ask about the emotional reunion of Kenny S and Jax Nexa. Did you feel like you were third wheeling in that situation? Um, actually, I think uh, Kenny was more happy to see me than Jax. No, God! This, <laughs> this is controversial. Why, why are you saying that Nexa? <laughs> Um, uh, low key, me and Kenny kind of have a special relationship. We don't share it with the public, but you know, we really get each other. <laughs> well, that is, that's probably the best exclusive I've had all year. You yeah. and Kenny S really get each other. Well, something we've learned about you, Amanek, you're, you're quite fit. You took play part in uh, the uh, G2 workout video. Uh, yeah, I was quite fit, but uh, with uh, like the situation with uh, COVID-19, uh, I like... Uh, took a different uh, direction uh, about uh, about fitness <laughs> okay uh, what what is your new direction with fitness uh but I will no, go, fitness. no fitness like no fitness <laughs> at all but i will come back uh, i will do it uh, i will do more in the future you guys reached number one in the world like what was that moment like waking up in the morning and seeing that you were number one next up? um it was an amazing feeling um like second to to winning the major it's like the second goal i had for for myself personally and i think uh everyone else in the team f feels the same way it's it's absolutely amazing um i mean people can argue that uh maybe it's like undeserved it's online blah 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 whatever but you just have to deal with uh with what you got and we managed to come out on top even if it was for just uh two weeks we still managed to to get there and like all the hard work and effort we put in was actually rewarded in in a way even though we didn't really win anything we choked a couple of grand finals um still our consistency and the way we were playing and the amount of uh, effort and work we we put in was was rewarded at the end and how did the team take the loss of that top spot because i imagine at the moment it's hard to take a lot of things i i, I guess as as proof of what Counter-Strike is going to be like once we're out of COVID because everyone's showing some inconsistencies. No one seems to be the best of the best, if that makes sense. So what was it like for you knowing that you weren't number one anymore? Well, um, it wasn't really like shocking or surprising right now. Um, I feel like all the top 10 teams are pretty much neck and neck, like one event win and you jump from like 10th place to... To, to first place and it was all about uh, staying consistent, uh, consistent consistent and keeping our consistency which we failed to do and uh, we failed at blast and now we failed in, uh, in 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 summit as well so we didn't really deserve the the number one spot anymore so it was just a uh, normal that that uh, someone else took it from us Amanek, who do you think should be in that top spot at the moment uh top spot um uh... I will say I will say Vitality because uh, they are in a really good direction at the moment. They are like winning, uh, like doing like uh, good results, and they are showing like uh, good form uh, actually. So I will say Vitality. Now, in the last G2 post plant episode, G2 had just finished the group stage of DreamHack Master Spring. You'd sailed into the upper bracket, but a lot has obviously happened since then, including an update to Dust Two next year. What are you thinking of, of the change of those B doors? Um, well, I don't really play the B side, so it doesn't really have that 
big of an impact on, on, on me personally, but I think it's a good uh, it's a good ad update. Like the map needed to change in some way, you know, to like just add more things because it was just becoming like really boring. Like you have a spawn, you rush B, you have a spawn, you rush long and blah, blah, blah. Always the same over and over. And like maybe this... Uh, reverse doors will maybe stop uh, some place for from from happening and and help out maybe the help out maybe the city side uh, actually uh, with this you probably don't have to save every time people take B you can actually do a proper retake which is also which is also great like before they take uh, bomb side B it's a 4v4 and you can't even go back in to to retake it it was impossible so with the reverse doors now, it's it's uh, it's much easier, and I think it just makes it for a much better and more balanced map. Amanek, what gun do you judge other people for buying? Uh, uh I would say uh, like uh, uh, shotguns. Uh, you, <laughs> but you're guns, French. Uh, the French love a shotgun. Um, uh, yeah, CZ, but um, I'm playing five seven now. Okay, so you 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 judge CZs because your team five seven. <laughs> uh, my team is CZ actually, no. Uh, okay, okay. I was gonna say CZ is very in vogue at the moment. C'est à la mode. It's, it's yeah it's the thing. Yeah, I see. I because I judge. I used to judge people for buying PP Bison's because I play solo queue. Um, but now the armor <laughs> penetration is improved, and actually, it seems like next year it might be a viable gun. Are we going to see you with a Bison anytime soon? Um, you you, you so see good. Hunter playing Bison uh, all, all the time. Uh, but what about you? I'm um, pointing no, so much me, today. Um, <laughs> I don't really judge people for for buying any weapon. Like it's all it's all part of the game. Um, uh, I do think maybe it's a little BM if you if you buy an auto sniper mm -hmm. like when you're when you're leading it's just a little BM but uh, it, it's part of the game you know so I, I don't really judge it. Also, last round of the half, that's when it's acceptable, surely. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Five five ops uh, last round. Uh... <laughs> well, let's talk about non charity tournaments. Let's talk about the tournaments that really do count. And of course, Dreamhack Masters. You kill it in the upper bracket, you make it all the way to that best of five final against big. And then the reverse sweep happens. Talk me through what happened, Nexa. Um, don't really know what happened. We just uh, choked. We really have a problem with uh, like dealing with the grand finals and actually closing out. Well, not just grand finals, but we had a lot of, uh, a lot of maps that we were leading by a lot and then we just managed to to like throw them and uh, like we just have a problem with uh, closing out games in general and I'm not sure like how, how to put it or describe or, or even explain why but maybe it's uh, maybe we're missing some kind of so sports psychologist or, or someone to actually help us like mentally pu push through it and get over this uh, like barrier we have in our in our heads maybe and actually start to you know winning games that that we should win do you think that's what happened when you went into blast spring the next day because you've just crashed out of this grand final it was such a close heartbreaking thing and then you have to play a match the next day i think it was very difficult because we came into the boot camp and we were playing uh the whole like upper bracket of, of dreamcack and it was three or four games uh like best of threes and then the best of five grand final and then right after the best of five grand final, the next day instantly we start a new tournament with uh, with new games without like any break, like not even one day break or rest. It's just uh, like instantly the day after we we play another best of three, which is really like exhausting. Like for, first of all, you come off uh, of a best of three, a best of five grand final that you actually choke and lose, and then it's literally midnight and you have to go to sleep and wake up uh, the next day and be ready for for a, for a new game in a new tournament and then uh, yeah it was just really difficult uh, but it wasn't uh, difficult in terms of like to mentally come back and play the game just like it was like physical exha exhaustion from from just like playing so many games like day after day after day and right as blast finished uh, we had like two days off and then summit started so it was basically three three events back to back to back 
for us, which uh, like it was it was really 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 hard. And I think we just ran out of gas like after after DreamHack Masters, and then, like everyone was empty. We ran out of gas, and I think that's the main reason why we crashed out of the the last tournaments in this like online season. I mean, like I I saw you nodding your head in agreement with Nexa there. How has the exhaustion been for you? Have you, if you've experienced exhaustion during all these tournaments you're having to play so frequently? Uh, yeah, it was like a bit difficult uh, for me. For my side, it was like uh, first time I, I was uh, thinking about like, uh, uh, like uh, I should stop CS or not. Uh, I don't know because like we did uh, like a lot of matches. Like it's uh, uh, top level matches. It's not like uh, like uh, uh, low tier matches or uh, like you need to be focused, like 100% uh, concentrate, etc. Like uh, to give everything you you had. And uh, yeah, at the end it was like really difficult to like uh, to like change uh, change play, uh, feel the game. Uh, because you you play in different uh, different environments etc. So yeah, good to to be in holidays I guess. <laughs> yeah, uh, we will talk about Livergans in a bit. I, I you just mentioned though stopping CS. I'm like, is that something you seriously considered in the last? Uh, years? Yeah, because like the the rhythm it was like really intense, uh, like for for every players I guess and. Uh, yeah, I, 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 you, yeah. Sorry, I continue. Continue. No, I had the uh, like uh, uh, tough about that, and uh, yeah, that's it. So you spoke to your teammates about that decision? Uh, no, not really. Just uh, like when you wake up and uh, you you know you will play another tournament, uh, another uh, another match is extra. Uh, it's really difficult to like to. To keep uh, to keep the focus. It's interesting to me that with Summit, Mouse Sports were at the bottom of your group. Phase also didn't make the playoffs despite some strong performances in the last month. Like Brocky is just like proving why they picked him up in the first place at the moment. Big doing incredibly now, but not playing so as many tournaments as the rest of you guys. And and Sirius is showing himself as a, a star of the future. And people are surprised by that. But then when you look at the level of tournaments you guys are a phaser playing against some of the other teams you're you're playing a lot more cs and it do you do you think that's the reason why we're seeing names like big have a resurgence um well i think the main reason is like um we see complexity doing the same um they don't really play the same amount of tournaments and they have time to practice prepare their game and no one really knows what they do you know there isn't like so much data to anti-strut, but when they play against us, we play Dust 2 40 times, and if they want to anti-strut our Dust 2, like, really, there is nothing more we can bring to the map. Like, we play this map uh, 40 times in three months, and, like, you can get all the data you want from us, but we have nothing anew, you know? They didn't play as many games, they didn't play in all the tournaments that we did, and then... Um, it's not uh it's not like a one off tournament. They they are both like complexity and big, they're both uh great teams. They they have their star players, you know, and they're playing good. They wouldn't win uh the tournaments they won if they were not playing good, but at the end uh I think it would have been way harder for them to 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 win those tournaments if they were like uh consistently playing the same the same events as, as like the rest of the top five, top ten teams basically. Well, we've already said it many many times you guys have been playing so much in the last few months which does mean we've got loads of highlights that we could explore now so we're going to pull up some clips from some of those tournaments and our first clip we get to watch back is from the dreamhack playoffs versus big and the the lovely folks at g2 have described this clip they've given the, the charming title Jax is literally cracked Inside oh yeah. yeah this one bro I was thinking <laughs> <laughs> Okay My god <laughs> Is that a jump shot? Oh my god yep. <laughs> Without the game sound it took me a little while to see that Oh my god What was your reaction on the server when that happened? 
Um, no, no uh, one, no one really saw it. Yeah, I think. yeah, uh, I didn't see it. We just it, heard was Jack right. scream like, "Oh!" <laughs> we just, just heard a, a scream, and uh, <laughs> that's it. Did Jacks have to explain that one many, many times afterwards so you'd believe what happened, Nexa? Oh, uh, he didn't say anything. He just uh, sent a clip, and, and he was like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> Of course he did. Okay, well, uh, we've got we've got a bit of BM coming up here. I think there's always BM when there's a Zeus involved. This is Hunter getting a little bit naughty versus Navi at DreamHack. I am sorry. No, it's it's never okay. I don't care if they're already dead. It's never okay to get a Zeus out next to. Are you encouraging this behavior? Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> You've got to get your kick somehow. If, if anyone was to use a Zeus, though, I feel like Amanek. You look like the type. Type of guy to Zeus? No. The type of guy to Zeus a dead body in game. He, he's, a, no, no, no. he's a type of guy to get Zeus. Yeah, to get Zeus in pop. With jumpy. Oh. <laughs> oh. I feel like you're the one Zeusing him next year. Um, Amanek, this, is, this next clip uh, features you. Uh, it's not necessarily your finest moment. But you had to go, and and we appreciate this. He's dead, and so this killed yeah, and for <laughs> me, for me it was a knife. Almost, I don't almost. know. The game told me no, no, it's not. There's a reason why you're in G2 and not Fnatic, Amanek. Yeah, that's why. I I can't <laughs> knife. <laughs> well, I think you can work on it. Work on it. I think it takes a lot of guts to do that, and as long as you don't lose the match for your uh, for your teammates when you do the knife, I think it's fine. We've seen simple failed knives on servers before. It's fine. It's fine. Um, it's so ob obviously, we now need to come to you next, sir. This is like I mean, there's a reason why this show is called the the G2 Post Plant, uh, and you guys, you've got history with bombs. Let's check this one out. <laughs> This is, of course, you can tell by the hub. This is obviously blast. Win them this round, just having the heads up, uh, the call to actually be able to to get everyone. Oh, stick shot. Next, getting a kill. The bomb is being planted oh, right in front. Oh, Does he not see that? Planted the bomb. Oh, I, I, he must have been pulling the trigger. They're still gonna win the round, but he had other things to worry about. So you didn't see, you didn't see Boomich planting there, Nexa. Uh, no. How did you? Did you only? Did anyone in your team alert you to that, or did you? Were you just like, oh, oh, the bomb's down. No, the bomb's down. Yeah, <laughs> I just saw the bomb. Uh, well, it's fine though. I just saw the bomb being planted. Basically, I came out of pop and I had information that the guys in sandwich and my full focus was uh, like looking at sandwich and I was swinging like to go towards sandwich, but he just crossed the site and he started planting. And also, uh, it's a little bit like four three. On my own screen, I actually didn't even like, didn't even see the guy at the start uh, on site. It was like uh, blended with, uh, with with the background. I didn't realize you played in four three. Yeah, four three. Well, now the fact that you didn't notice he was playing because he was in four three means that next time someone comes into my Twitch chat and insists that I change my resolution, I'm going to quote that example. Uh, we've got another <laughs> Blast clip. And one of the great things, of course, about Blast is they send all of you guys player cameras so we can see your reactions. And uh, Jax, I mean, he's he's a very quiet guy. He's not one to, to get emotional, to get excited. So uh, here's a... Uh, obviously, I'm completely being sarcastic. Jax is the most fun guy ever to have on land so let's see what happens when he gets so well. happy <laughs> yes is that in your land center yeah, yeah that was uh in the boot camp uh, oh. where we were yeah very nice oh that is a that's an emote also i need to talk to Jax about the hair products he's using <laughs> that headset looks fire as well, I have to say. Oh my god. Basically, me and Jax, we need to have a conversation. Um, right. Moving on to Summit, of course, the most recent tournament. I hope it's not hashtag too soon. Hunter. He's got a big brain. Are we going to see the big brain in action? A C4 device. And they will be trying their best to play off of each other. Little do they know that Hunter has actually rotated all the way around. And Hunter looks to be making the big Does Hunter know that they're downstairs at the moment while he's while he's outside? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he you does, give him the information. Yeah. Of it it was it was a one v three and he killed the first guy that had the C four and he knew uh where the bomb was dropped and he also had info where the last two guys were. Oh uh, just outplayed them. What a round to win the map on as well. You must be pretty jumping yeah. with that one. 
yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, next, uh, again, we're moving to you. Luck was not on your side in, in this moment from Summit 6. Efforts. He's going to have to hit some really ridiculous shots to make this possible as they wait for him. And he's actually managed to somehow creep out. But there is the defuse. I don't know if he's aware of this. Oh, oh he actually knows. Oh. He's able to st oh, did he not stop that in time? He didn't. That's so insane. Next, it gets both kills. And he was just a millisecond. Really unfortunate. <laughs> did you just run out of time? No, they defused. The first guy defused the bomb. Uh, right. Yes. Okay. He wins around there. And then you get the kill. It's weird because we're, yeah. we're watching this without sound. So it's... Yeah. <laughs> oh. Well, at least, you got, at least you got the gun off them. Every cloud, yeah. every cloud. Okay, uh, our next clip is uh, is is a nicer one for Nexa. Don't worry, we're not we're not just bullies here at the G two Post Plant. We are going to celebrate your successes as well in this pistol round from that match against Fnatic. Here we go. You've seen him behind car. <gasps> okay, the trigger discipline. The trigger discipline is something else here, Nexa. Well, can he find the 180? He does. Great stuff from Nexa there. Woo! He has to complete the three piece in order to take this round, Ooh. and he does. Nexa, do you call yourself a pistol god? No, I'm actually the worst pistol player in, in our team, for sure. Well, it means you're all exemplary But I do players. have my moments. Yeah, I mean, you, you had, I think you had the biggest brain moment there. Move over, Hunter. Right. We've got a clutch situation here. Let's head back to CS Summit 6. Will he be able to find anything? No. G2. <laughs> okay. I can't believe, I can't believe the BM there. <laughs> but they didn't believe. They did not believe that you could defuse. And I know, you you know exactly why they did not believe you could defuse. Yeah. Any other team in that situation, any other team in that situation, the clutch meter yeah. would be zero. Uh, do you ever get tired of the shade throwing towards you? Over over these bomb defusing situations, Nexa. Um, not really. Uh, I mean, uh, for me personally, it never happened to me. So maybe the guys who who did it, like uh, the French guys, basically, maybe it's uh, annoying for them. But you know, if it's annoying, then just defuse the bomb. <laughs> but for me, I'm just wondering exactly. You're you're not the reason why G2 has this reputation, and yet you constantly get it, and you don't deserve it, Nexa. Yeah, I know, but it really doesn't bother me because I don't feel like I, I can do anything about it or I had anything to do with it. It's, <laughs> it's just part of like the, the, the name and yeah. that's it. What about you, Amanek? Do you sometimes feel a bit weird playing on Nuke? <laughs> no, it's, you know, it's funny. At the end, it's, it's all uh, about fun. like uh, Because like everyone is like putting back uh, the, the memes so... or... Nexa as well, like, uh, when when we need to defuse bomb, he, he's always telling us, uh, like, defuse, defuse, don't forget the bomb. <laughs> and, uh, it's always funny, like. Listen, it's, yeah, it's I like to play, I like to play a lot, <laughs> yeah. When when I'm defusing, uh, and uh, I always like to ask, guys, is anyone defusing the bomb? <laughs> <laughs> it's time for the post-plant play presented by Logitech G. Essentially, this features four of the best plays from the stars of G2 from recent tournaments. We have put these clips on Twitter for you guys to watch, you guys watching at home on the bus, wherever you seem to be watching the show, wherever you are watching the show. It's not seems, this is happening, this is real. Uh, so you guys have been voting, everyone who voted was given the chance to win our exclusive giveaway of a swanky Logitech Pro X headset. We're going to check those clips out now, the clips that you've been voting for. And at the end, we'll find out which one you guys voted as our clip of the show. So let's take a look now. Kicking off with G2 versus Ents from Blast. This is wild, Anders. I did not expect the beat down at this level. No, me neither. I seem mildly at some point flirting with the idea that, you know, <laughs> Zamanek going fully wild. Oh, that, that's fine. That's needed a kill on the round. Duty here is not over yet. They start to pour in. Boys, you can talk us through these moments you were there. Nexa. He secures a double and with those kills, uh, he goes his way as well. Sierston. So, of course, this is from your, your best of five finals. So this is from Dreamhack G2. Yeah. Of course. And he's lost 
also an unstoppable force. G2, they take a six, and it's an ace from next to as the CT side on Nuke is where they start. All right, then. Lovely Kenny S with the pistol just cleaning up in ramp room. Oh, and he's put up another Kenny. He drops the bomb with that frag and it falls into ramp. While the attention what? is taken away from anywhere else, the flank has come in from Jax. And I don't know if Amanek wants to commit to these fights. It's about time you back away. Good dink. Try and Amanek's favorite team here, Team Vitality. One versus two, a combined My favorite team? <laughs> I decided they're your, fa <laughs> your favorite team after the way you spoke about them earlier, Amanek. Yeah. Uh, not especially, but... Uh... <laughs> there you go. I mean, Kenny S yes, having having a particularly good showing there in the post plant play presented by Logitech G. Uh, next, so what was your favorite clip of the four? Uh, my clip. Your clip. Of course. Yeah, my clip from from Mirage. Of course. Do you think it was strong enough to win the fan vote? I think it should have been the one that uh, that won the fan vote. Amanek, I feel like you're slightly more impartial. Which clip was your favorite? Uh, we'll say the first one because it was the funniest one. Because after <laughs> after the brawl, like uh, I was watching Hunter and uh, we laughed so hard like, because I was uh, uh, I killed him. Yeah, <laughs> I was looking at him and I was laughing so hard. <laughs> Hello, this Amanek. I'm finding out more about you. It, you find um, you find other people's misfortunes really funny. Yeah. <laughs> My um, well, let's find out which of the clips won the post plant play presented by Logitech G. And the winner is the Deagle clip from Kenny S from G2 versus Team Vitality. I think we should watch it again because why not? Let's let's make the most of this magic moment from Kenny S. Here we go. Oh, he's using the back of sight. They try the boost. It all goes wrong. Lovely crisp headshot to wrap up the round. Very, very nice indeed for the C2 side. I've just heard from the voice of God in my ears. We, we know who the winner <laughs> is. So the winner of the Logitech Pro X headset is Hyatt underscore. So thank you so much for, for having your say. You are our... So instead, we're going to move on to questions from the fans before, uh, before I let you guys go on your holidays. On Twitter, AOC Gaming have asked, Amanek... What do you think of Serbian food? Uh, it was pretty pretty cool food, uh, I will say. But uh, I was showing issue with uh, with the meat. Like uh, we go to a restaurant, and uh, there is like a ton of meat, and I was like, what can I choose? Well, uh, like there is sausage, uh, meat, like everywhere, like. Uh, but uh, overall, uh, it was a great uh, experience uh, about food in, uh, in Serbia. Amanek, you're French. It's all meat there. I can't go to France much because I'm vegetarian. Oh, I'm <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I shouldn't talk uh, about uh, meat, sorry. No, you can talk about <laughs> meat. I'm just surprised that you're offended by seeing so much of it. Uh, Sh Super Krishna asks, who is your biggest rival? Who do you enjoy winning against the most, Amanek? Uh, Andre the most to to beat. Uh, uh, I think I would say Astrays because uh, because uh, it was the first time we I was beating them uh, in best of three, so I was uh, enjoying it uh, after playing them. Mm, <laughs> and that was that was DreamHack Master Spring. Uh, no, it, um, yeah, 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 it was yeah, yeah. In, uh, in in group stage. Yeah. In group search, yeah. Yes, yeah, I remember Nexa being super excited about that one. Is it is it strongest for you, Nexa? No, it's phase. Of course. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> I really like to beat Nika. <laughs> <laughs> you mean Hunter's cousin, right? Uh, yes. So, uh, Bojack Assad says, uh, obviously Bojack uh, considers himself to be a honorary member of G2. And Bojack, you're absolutely correct. You are an honorary member of G2. And, and he or, or she says, when we win the... E major, who will be the MVP next? Uh, Hunter. Hunter. Amanek, do you agree? Uh, I think I will see Kenny S. Kenny S. Oh, there we go. We can see the Serbian and the French loyalties there. I, I, I see how this <laughs> team is divided up. <laughs> Poor Jack's barking in the middle. Um, <laughs> how do you keep 
a good mental during a bad day ambition 2k04 us and i think that means mentality so so amanek how how do you keep your mentality strong before like land tournaments uh but yeah um i talk to myself and uh, i say like a couple of things to to be motivated and uh, to gain confidence and uh, to gain confidence and uh, Yes, yeah, that's so I'm dealing with. But uh, online, I uh, was not doing uh, so much. <laughs> so you need someone to come in and whisper mantras into your ear. Nexa, yeah. how are you going to boost Amanek's confidence? <laughs> um, it's like uh, when you're having a bad day or like uh, you just feel bad in general, it's sometimes very difficult to, to like bring yourself back. That's why it's important to have like good people around you and... Uh, like someone uh, like Jax, for example, like whenever we were at a tournament and anyone was having a day off or a bad day or whatever, you just look at Jax and he's like dancing around, like uh, laughing and, and doing like some stupid things, you know, and he just like puts a smile on your face and then brings your mood instantly. So it's really important to have this, uh, um, to, to have like really good people around you who, who can always, you know, like cheer you up and bring you out of... Um, like this uh, this bad mind mind mindset you're in if you were not pro players what would you be asked dan wang 13 hi dan wang <laughs> next sir um i would most likely be a lawyer that's very clever yeah and I, i'm not surprised at all a lawyer were well, you actually did you ever take any steps towards um, becoming a lawyer? No, not really. I just, uh, while I was in, in high school, I just, uh, I was playing CS all the time. And then I just, I, I decided not to, you know, go any further and just dedicate my whole life to, to CS. It's quite a good answer for interviews though, isn't it? It does, yeah. does, does make you sound like a big brain. Yes. Amanek, <laughs> if you were not a CSGO pro, uh, what job do you think you'd be doing? Uh, poker player. <laughs> Because I, I got a period uh, when I was playing uh, online poker on the... He, he has this <laughs> poker face. You can never know what he's thinking. I think that's that makes absolute sense to me. Um, Amanek, you're playing a game of strip poker with G2. Who gets naked first? Uh, Carlos. <laughs> <laughs> I meant because of the game, not just in general. <laughs> okay, I'll okay. before I get fired. Okay, um, what games other than CS:GO do you play? And that's from Marmic EMP three seven nine. All right, Amanek, let's find out more about your life. What games other than CS do you play? Uh, what game? Uh, yeah. was playing uh, Valorant, like for like inter uh, intens uh, intensively. But uh, I stopped. Like, uh, <laughs> CS forever. <laughs> yeah. Next, sir? Uh, I was really playing League of Legends a lot, like a lot, a lot. I'm pretty sure I played it way more than, than I did CS overall. And then, of course, uh, Valorant. Uh, mm. I was, uh, I had a tryout to become the new G2 <laughs> Valorant team captain, but I wasn't good enough. <laughs> you, you versus Mixwell. <laughs> yeah, it was before Mixwell even started playing. I'm... I was the I was the original. What did you think of of Mixwell leaving CS for Valorant, Nexa? Uh, I I think he had his shot in CS. He had a couple of opportunities, like things didn't go his way, and I think he needed a, a fresh start. And I think he he did the right move. Yeah, I, I, from from being part of a couple of G two events with with Valorant, Mixwell definitely. Seems like he's on the right track and he's he's with yeah. a great team. He's building. They've announced a few more yep. board members. So I'm quite looking forward to seeing how that goes. But right now, let's we've got a few more questions. So we've got Boomerang, Boomerang, Boomerang underscore 59 from Instagram has said, do you guys like football? If so, what team do you support? So next, next I'll come to you first. Um, I don't really like football, but um, when I was younger, I really liked uh, Chelsea. I was supporting Chelsea. Okay, so like almost the opposite of Hunter though, because Hunter was yeah the, a professional footballer. Yeah. yeah. Whereas you don't even appear in the G two workout videos, no. so yeah, 
that makes that makes sense. Uh, Amanek, what about you? You're sporty. Uh, I would say Real Madrid. <laughs> Because of uh, Zidane, I was uh, watching a lot of clips uh, back then. And, uh, yeah, Real Madrid forever. Hmm. Any Mac 10 tips, Amanek? Paolo asks from Facebook. Uh, uh, all the W and the uh, jump. jump shot, like uh, press most one. Uh, right, let's talk about the future. And thank you so much, by the way, to everyone who sent in your questions. And we hope you'll send them in for the next episode of the G2 Postplant. And before I let you boys go, we've got to talk about the future. We've got the player break coming up. It's been mentioned a few times. Now we get to talk about what you're going to do on your holidays. Amanek, what are your plans? Uh, I will, uh, next week, I will go in uh, Iceland, close to, to aix en -Provence. So I will uh, chill uh, for one week at least, and uh, <laughs> and uh, to reset myself and uh, to feeling good uh, again. That's it. Next up. Uh, in in about two weeks, I'm going to Greece uh, on on vacation uh, with my girlfriend. So hopefully, um, it'll it'll help me like reset and uh, come with a fresh fresh mindset coming into into the the tournaments after the break. For sure, and. What what does it mean to actually finally get to go on holiday next year? Uh, it means a lot. Uh, I think it's been uh, like ten months um, or nine months since I joined G two, and we didn't have a, like a single break since like we played <clears throat> like at the end of the last year. We played this uh, Malta Championship Cup tournament, which ended basically on twenty second or twenty third of December, and then since. Uh, People don't respect the uh, Orthodox uh, Christmas, uh, like for for the for the player break. We started playing uh, like on the sixth or seventh January. We had the qualifier for for Katowice, so basically it was only ten days, ten days off uh, up until now, and it was just constantly practice, work tournaments, work tournaments, work tournaments, and it feels really good to finally get uh, some time off. And Amanek, on the other side of the player break, hopefully. We might see lands come back. We don't know when, but when they do come back, what's that going to mean to you to get to play in the same place on a stage with your teammates again? Yeah, I hope so. I hope so. We will do like a lot of stage uh, in the next season, and uh, yeah, I'm uh, really excited to to do to do it again with uh, with boys. Well, I'm so excited to see you guys coming back well rested. Hopefully, I'm actually going to get to see you in person at some point because Amanek, you've got really good English and I can't wait to exploit that by interviewing you on the sidelines. And next thing you know, it's always a pleasure. So thank you so much yeah, for joining me and of course, all our viewers today for episode two of the G2 Postplant presented by Logitech G. Guys, thank you so much for watching. We will see you next time. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>